We're recording. <laughs> oh boy, that was good. I'll make sure about that. Uh, mute everybody. Uh, participants. Yeah. You've been, you've been trying to mute me for years. <laughs> yeah, well, that's why I've lost track. Uh, gosh. Uh, let's see. Mute uh, participants. Uh, oh, mute all. Mute all. Okay. okay. I, I found the button. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, everyone, if you would, uh, uh, we're going to uh, go ahead and get started. And uh, if you would mute, uh, mute yourself, or we'll do a mute all. Uh, we are going to take questions as we go along. So, if you uh, want to post your uh, questions in the chat, we'll read those and then we'll respond to those. We've got quite a, quite a few folks online and still lots coming in. Uh, so Amanda, if you can take care of those uh, new, new entries uh, as we go along, I'll, I'll get us started and then I can, I can keep an eye on the, uh, on the waiting room too as we okay. switch over. <clears throat> but again, if you would mute yourself uh, and then if we have questions, uh, We'll take those by text by text message, uh, and then at the end, if there are any other questions, well, we'll just open the speakers up at that point at the end. So I'm going to mute everybody right now. Okay. Good. Good luck. <laughs> Allow participants to unmute themselves. Okay. Um, is that on my phone, maybe? Uh, that's interesting. Okay, so I thought... I think everybody's unmuted now. No? It's just the new people. Mute all. <laughs> Wait a minute. I know. Here. There. Okay. Now, I think I've muted everybody. Yep. So, um, uh, thanks for coming tonight on New Year's Eve. Uh, or if you're in Australia, like Alexis, and I don't know if you got any other uh, uh, folks from down under, uh, you're already in 2022, so you're way ahead of us. Uh, let us know how 2022 is, because we still got time to cancel our transition. If it's any worse, we're, we're not going. We're just not going to do 2022. That's it. Uh, well, thanks. I'm Wes, uh, and i uh, I'm the president of the company, and with me here is my business partner, Amanda, uh, who is marketing and sales. I'm uh, engineering manufacturing is what I handle. Uh, many of you that we know uh, and are familiar with the uh, pet tutor, I want to tell you what's been happening this year. Uh, as you know, it's been a pretty unusual year for, for many of us. Uh, I'm actually right now recovering from a mild case of COVID, so I'm good. I'm good, don't worry, but uh, that was, I'm going to try to turn it over to Amanda. I'm down to the point where I've just got a little bit of a hoarse, hoarseness in my uh, voice, so I'm going to let her uh, take charge. But it's been a, been a crazy a couple of years now. What happened uh, to us is, and many of you may know the story, but uh, back in the uh, first quarter of 2021, uh, it, we were going like gangbusters. It was, a you know, Orders were just coming in. We're probably going to have one of our best quarters ever. And then I went, to, I said, well, this is, you know, the demand is really climbing. We better order some more parts. So I called our, our broker overseas and says, we, we have to order some more parts. And he said, well, I'm sorry, we can't even get a ship. We can't get a container ship to get your stuff on uh, for months, for months. And I said, well, I'm going to be out uh, well before that. So we had to back up and say, what are we going to do now? And uh, we decided, the team decided, we're going to charge ahead. Oh, did I get muted? Okay. I'm not sure how that happened. Have you been hearing me from the beginning, Amanda? Okay, all right. Uh, so I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, 
But if you do have a question, again, if you're just joining, go ahead and, and use the chat. Looks like we do have some questions uh, or some comments on the chat. Uh, it says Amanda is still muted. I think you, you've muted yourself, Amanda. Yeah, I think we're co-hosts, so you and I can mute or unmute ourselves. But uh, thank you for doing that. Uh, and so, hi from New Zealand. Yeah, uh, very cool. Oh, yeah, it's great. Thanks from uh, all of our friends, Washington State. Uh, yeah, thank you all for, uh, for uh, uh, if you've been a pet tutor customer for over the years, we, we launched our first product end of 2020, 2013 in Spokane, Washington. We revealed to the world the pet tutor for the first time. So we've been around since the end of 2013. Uh, and we've made modifications over the years. That's one of our commitments is to always improve the product. Uh, so we've had some ideas of what we wanted to do. Uh, but when this year came along and we couldn't get parts that we needed, uh, we, we decided to redesign something. And Amanda's going to show you in a minute what that something is. Uh, we're calling it the Pet Tutor Mini, as you can see from the, uh, from the background there. The mini, and the mini is more than one product. So it is not just a feeder. <clears throat> and uh, as you've seen before, we come out with new ways of mounting the feeder. We think that's important too, is that people need to be able to mount the feeder in different ways, like on a crate or on the floor, in a car. So we're keeping that in mind. Uh, also, just as a history, Amanda and I met as volunteers in a service dog training program. And so we're both very passionate about helping those with needs, accessibility needs. And so we have, uh, over the last few years, I've been surprised at how many people with severe disabilities, and I mean people with uh, quadriplegia, uh, that had no movement of their, uh, of their arms, that all they could do is move their head, uh, but they wanted to interact with the dog. So we, we set, uh, set about customizing mounts and control systems so that they could give a treat to their dog. And so that's an area that we're especially passionate about. This new product line will lend itself much more easily to that. So if, if you are uh, in a wheelchair yourself or know someone that's in a wheelchair or working around something like that, uh, we, we are especially interested in, in prioritizing getting some units out to you uh, to start to try out on your wheelchair. So wheelchairs are one area. Another area it, that I'm really interested in is making the system even more accessible to other engineers and developers. So if you're an engineer or a program or a developer and would like to uh, do some things with technology to reinforce your pet, uh, I think this new, new platform the, and I'll call it an entire platform. It's more than just the feeder. Again, it's, it's an entire suite of, of accessories and products that'll be coming throughout 2022. We'll show you some of it tonight, but we're not going to reveal everything. Amanda called this the reveal party, but like a tease, we're not going to show you everything yet. Uh, we're going to show you the bulk of it, but coming later in the year, we've got some really exciting stuff in the pipeline. Uh, that will add capability uh, even to your Gen 3 feeder. So if you have a Gen 3, uh, I think we'll even have some stuff that you could add on to your Gen 3 to even make it uh, more cool <laughs> than it already is. So stay tuned for that. Um, so uh, let's see, Amanda, I think that's the background. You know, we were, well, we were struggling at the beginning of this year trying to figure out what we we're going to do about parts to make pet tutors. Uh, but, you know, uh, I've got a great team. Uh, you know, we are just so blessed to have some amazing people on our team, uh, uh, engineers and computer scientists and, uh, uh, you know, experts in mechanical engineering. It's, it's a great, we're not a big group, we're a small family owned business, but uh, we're a passionate group about what we do. And that's bringing better animal training products to you. So I, I hope you'll find that the new line of stuff will, will meet your needs. Uh, and if, and if, there, if you see something that you uh, don't see in this product, let us know. Send us a note. 
because that's how we've, we've developed things over the years is people make suggestions and we make changes. So uh, let's get started. Uh, Amanda, if you wanna switch over and, and show them uh, the new line of mini and kind of go through that. And I'll keep an eye on the admission, uh, uh, admins here and let people in. Okay, am I uh, talking? Yeah, okay. gotcha. Cool. All right. Uh, so uh, behind me is kind of what you can see. It's not very detailed. So I'm going to show you a little video. And the first thing I'm going to show you is the package that we're offering. Uh, and we're only going to be offering it for a couple days uh, through Monday. So this will be, uh, you'll still be able, will be, uh, it's a, some bonuses involved for um, pre-sale and we'll be shipping in late uh, March, early April, so, okay. <clears throat> well, we're at the end of the video. All right, here we go. Okay, so these are a little bit about the parts and pieces. Oh, I'm not sharing, am I? No sharing? You're not sharing, Amanda. Okay, let's see, let me try again. Now is it sharing? Yep, I see it. Okay. There we go. Okay, these, this is the package, the parts and the pieces involved. And I'll accept this little remote, which just at the last hour, we were able to bring a new remote in and it is, we've just gotten photographs of it today. That's how new it is. So um, these are what will be involved in the bonus package. This is the new remote. So if you've ever had, a box clicker before, uh, or this is the size of two quarters. So it's a very small, uh, it's called the Smart Clicker Mini. And it's an option because you still have the app to run the Pet Tutor, the new Pet Tutor Mini. And um, it's giving you a lot of digital feedback. So you'll see that uh, this is the Mini and uh, it's, really cool, cool. It, as Wes is getting ready to show you in a video how uh, this all comes together and you'll be able to see a little bit more about the detail. Here we go. Okay, this is the uh, new Pet Tutor Mini, the prototypes. Uh, we're showing the three different uh, mounting options that you have with the new product. Uh, this is the crate mount. So we have shown here the cartridge, the Uno cartridge, which will dispense one treat at a time. I've got the lid off of this one for demonstration purposes. And this one over here, this one's got the lid on it. Uh, it'll fit onto the, uh, the crate mount. Uh, you can use some zip ties to tie this onto a wide variety of crate mounts and it will dispense into the crate like previous versions of our crate mount did. Uh, this one can set just flat on a tabletop uh, and the treats will shoot out from here. You can put it on the edge of a table so it'll shoot off of the table. Uh, put it up on a countertop uh, just out of the way of the dog. Uh, or even if you're training small animals like, um, uh, for instance, small birds, uh, you can put small bird seed in this and uh, shoot it out without any uh, mount at all. It'll just set flat on the table. Then the one in the middle uses the floor mount, and here we've got it attached to the battery. There's a, it'll run off a of wall power or battery. You can plug the battery in, and underneath we have a place to strap it in. You can use a zip tie, a zip tie or Velcro strap underneath to hold the battery. And this is the anchor battery that we recommend, and it's plugged into the unit. Uh, we also have a little collapsible bowl in this. So this is the, uh, the unit that sets on the floor mount. This is the crate mount. And this is the one that just sets flat on the table. So this is uh, a wall mount, which we're going to be offering too. If you want to have it up high and shoot onto the floor or into a to the collapsible bowl, which also works either flat or all the way open. And this is just happens to be how I'm trimming uh, my poodle's nails She's up on a little table. And I just put it just her height to, uh, to keep it just right for her. And this is uh, an overview from the top. I've taken the lid off. 
so you can see how it comes out. And uh, this is uh, an option, and Wes is going to talk and a little bit about that. A new Pat Tudor Mini with the Uno cartridge in place uh, and a collapsible food bowl. Uh, this is demonstrating the versatile mounting option. There's a screw hole in the middle, which will mount on a standard camera mount. So this is uh, the Joby brand. Uh, there are other brands of uh, these flexible leg kind of mounts. Uh, any of those that had the standard screw that would mount in the bottom of a camera would work. And so you can also flatten this out. So it makes a very stable uh, bowl um, for the floor. So the dog can't scoot it around. And obviously you can use these legs. You can bend it around like a baby gate. If you have a baby gate and suspend it from the baby gate or wrap it around like the arm of a wheelchair or uh, <laughs> I mean, you could do it like do it like this and just you know it, it could be something you could take to a party and people would ask you what that is hey new year's eve party anything goes <laughs> so you'll be able to hear how quiet it is yes We are not selling the Joby. Thank you. We are not selling the Joby tripod. It's just if you happen to have a tripod and or any kind of a tripod you would like to do, the, the bendable legs we found uh, are able to put it in a car on the back of a headrest, depending on what you do with how your dog travels. Uh, we've put it on banisters, top of doors. I think, let's uh, see, I've got one on a chair here. There it is. See? Um, yeah. Not seeing it yet if you're trying to show it, Amanda. I, oh, I am up in the little corner, I guess. So I, do I need to um, unstop uh, like that? Uh, oh. <laughs> Where is it? Yeah. <laughs> I can't see it. There it is. Oh, behind the chair. Yeah, it's over your shoulder there. So yeah. it's dro dropping treats behind her neck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You can do anything with this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, just to, <clears throat> to recap there, uh, again, this is the beginning of a line of products. So what you're seeing with the mini, <clears throat> and we call it, <clears throat> excuse me, the, uh, the Uno uh, canister, it, uh, <clears throat> it holds, it has a pocket of treats and you load it. <clears throat> you load it and you can have multiple canisters. So... <clears throat> And so you, you put your treats in. One thing that we've seen people training exotic birds, uh, and sometimes the birds eat gets really tiny, and birds obviously fill up pretty fast, and or small dogs. There are a lot of people with small dogs now. Wes, go ahead and take your uh, background. Yeah. So we can, yeah. Yeah, so uh, one of the uh, uh, areas of feedback that we implemented here was uh, uh, being able to handle much, much smaller treat sizes, small dogs and birds uh, down to millet. I don't know if we have any bird trainers in the group, but uh, you know some people are training with millet, which is incredibly smaller than a grain of rice. And so getting that through a standard feeder is extremely tough. So this system allows you to very precisely, if you want, develop, always deliver one treat. We've had so many trainers say, I just want one treat. And the original pet tutor was designed to uh, not jam. So we're also keeping that in place. We don't want jamming. We want it to be quiet. And we want it to be able to go to much smaller treats with precision. And so that's what this accomplishes for us is you preload it and you could have multiple canisters and you load one runs out and you just pop another one on and you keep going but we're not done so there is more coming uh but i did want to let you know that's the way it works you manually load these and then the the system will dispense one at a time that rotates the little rotor around uh to drop whatever you put in of course you don't have to put in one treat if you want to put in more you could do a little jackpot uh, but it's, it's designed to go very, very small. Uh, someone asked about the interface uh, to the pet tutor. 
it is uh, Bluetooth low energy. Uh, the uh, that allows you to uh, connect this current feeder to our existing app. So you, I mean, you today you can walk out and uh, well, in fact, we do. And some of the people that are in our beta test group have are using the app now to trigger the feeder. So it does work with Bluetooth. Uh, some people have asked about Wi-Fi. All I can say is stay tuned. Uh, all we're ready to talk about tonight is uh, the Bluetooth enabled product. And someone else is asking how many slots it's. Uh, there's 16 pockets, but one of those is taken up by the drop spot. So you've actually got 15 that you can load. <clears throat> and uh, I've, I'm used to training with the concept of, of you run so many trials, like five trials or 10 trials, and then see where you're at. If you're, if you're successful on your current criteria, I don't know if Kathy Sineo is out there, uh, you know, then, then you push your criteria or you drop it back down. So you really want to run a very precise set of trials, a small number of trials, and, and figure out where you're at on criteria. Um, I went through Bob Bailey's training camp, and, and he's extremely uh, focused about that. You have very short time training periods. That's kind of what this is designed for, is a, is a pro training application. And so you, uh, where you want the precision of one treat and uh, more control over uh, how many treats come out. But we do have more things in the works. Uh, separate cartridges, I uh, mean, you have some preloaded and can switch them out. Yes, that's, that's right. Uh, let's see, any other questions? How many treats? Uh, this one is 16. Uh, we have some, uh, some things in the works we've been playing around with to go up or down on the number of treats, but uh, this seems like a kind of a nice uh, uh, point, right, uh, in, in how many treats you, you get. Uh, range, okay, yeah, that's a good, uh, a good question too. And it's something else we learned on the prior generations of pet tutors. People wanted more range. Uh, and so uh, we measured uh, between our, our new remote and Amanda showed it. This is, this is the remote now. <clears throat> and it's actually got it. Mine's not, uh, let's see if I can turn this one on. Yeah, there, it's got a, uh, that's going to come out really lousy probably, but uh, it's got a L LCD display now. So the remote has an LCD display that can give you a lot of information, uh, changing modes. Uh, so it does have, uh, those of you that have used the smart clicker, it has the tilt mode. There you go, those that want the games. So this is a handy little thing. You put it in the tilt mode, stick it. And this is much smaller than our other remote. So you could get it into, into some very small toys. Uh, <clears throat> so it, it'll go, between this remote and the feeder, we measured uh, up to around 240 feet on, on Bluetooth. So uh, we think, you know, if you're doing outdoor like agility work, you know, it's probably gonna cover the agility field on, on a Bluetooth. But uh, again, stay tuned. We're, we're, we got a lot of engineering ideas uh, built around this new platform using this and, and the feeder. So uh, we're not done yet. And this guy's got more stuff packed in it that will be coming. I just don't want to say anything until we've actually done it. Uh, sometime between now and the end of, somewhere in first quarter of, 20, of next year, 2022, um, uh, we'll be able to start to talk about even more features that are coming uh, through this. And uh, we're going to be offering some ways to get our maker community. We have lots of engineers, programmers that have done their own thing. People have gone off, universities have gone off and and set up systems for doing training to use the pet tutor. Uh, and so we hope it'll, it'll fit those needs as well. We'll make an open interface so people can take over control of the feeder and dispense uh, treats under their own program control. So you'll have that ability coming too. Um, oh, yes. <clears throat> yep. Somebody asked, uh, can you put more than 16 treats? So I would love to put two, if they're on the small size, uh, or cat size three or so that I've put in the, um, in the cartridge so that you, you, if you want to give more than one, you can. Yeah, but only, uh, you know, 
it's very it's uh, very it's, size specific. Yeah, well, it, it's fifteen uh, treating opportunities. So it's uh, you, you, whatever you put in the pocket is what you get out. So if you put in one, you get one treat. If you put in two, you get two treats. If you want, if it's if there's enough room, and, and this fits about a medium sized kibble. <clears throat> so if you go down to like a smaller from, or certainly with bird seed, you can put a lot of bird seed in a pocket. But you're going to get 15, uh, 15 shots. Uh, and we are aware the original pet tutor could hold a lot more food. Uh, I don't know. I'm not ready to say what we're going to do about that yet, but we, uh, we will be trying to address uh, uh, larger capacity. <clears throat> but with a lot of things, you know, you give up precision. So uh, kind of the direction that you'll see us heading is for ultra precision, this is your guy. Uh, and if you want to give a meal or, or deliver a lot of food, then, you know, we might have something coming up for, for that. <clears throat> but uh, we're not ready to announce that just yet. Will Zooks Minis fit in? Yep. Been there, done that. <laughs> yes, Zooks Minis will fit in just fine. And the new Smart Clicker Mini also connects to the Pet Tutor Blue 3. Ah. Thank you. Yeah. So uh, if if you have a generation three pet tutor, this will work with that. This will trigger that feeder. It will work in tilt mode. So uh, we'll still have we have a few of the original Gen three smart clickers left in the store. Uh, but if you wanted to use this, uh, we can start. We'll start selling those probably uh, early right after. We don't have them in the store yet, but we'll probably sell those separately. All we got in the store right now is a package, but we'll probably sell these separately. And you can use this to trigger your Gen 3. And that is a bonus. We are giving you the $99 bonus. Yeah. And that is going to go away in a few days. So that is something that be if you're willing to do a pre-sale with us and, and trust in us and know that we will deliver a great quality product to you, then we we're going to give you that $99 bonus. Uh, otherwise, it will be purchased separately. Uh, yeah, a couple of other questions. Will the Gen 3 uh, go back in stock soon? Uh, you know, I haven't ruled it out, but uh, with today's supply chain issues, I just don't want to build our, our, our uh, supply around that. So uh, it might, it might come back and, and I, but I don't know. I don't know if that'll happen or not. We kind of have to wait to see where, where this goes because we've got more stuff coming down the pipe with, uh, with the new mini platform. And it, it could answer the question of most people. Now, uh, you know, the pet tutor could hold five cups of kibble. Uh, I don't know that we're going to, because that's kind of not very common that people need that much food. The only one I can remember is uh, I think Walt Disney Animal Kingdom called me up one day and said, I, you know, I need to get more, more food in there. I said, well, how many do you need? 20 cups. And what are you training? A, a herd of giraffes. So if you're training a herd of giraffes, we may not have that for you for a while. Uh, but uh, right now, uh, we've got the, the mini platform, I think, uh, what you see today, and we'll be adding to that uh, uh, as we go along. So stay tuned, see what we've got uh, next year. But right now, this is all, this is all we're offering in this initial uh, um, availability is the, is the Uno cartridge on the mini platform. So the mini with the Uno cartridge. And that <clears throat> will be shipping uh, sometime in, in Q1, probably late Q1. Uh, and I think we're saying uh, by April 1st, uh, we would ship, if you pre-order now, you'd get it by April 1st. And we're gonna circle back in about 30 <clears throat> days to tell you uh, the new developments that will be happening with the product and any new uh, extra accessories that we haven't mentioned or features that will be part of the package as well. We're just telling you basically the bare minimum at this very moment. So uh, we're gonna circle back in 30 days and tell you that. So it'll... Uh, it'll oh, I'm sorry, I was getting it, go ahead. We just have to uh, control Wes to, cause if uh, he's gonna, he's inventing, a, in his mind right now, as he's talking, he's thinking of 10 more things to do. Oh, my, you, you just, 
You guys don't want to be inside my mind. It's just going like in 27 different ways. It is. Because it is. The, new, the new platform has so many capabilities. I'm really excited to show you what we're what we got coming. Uh, now we have, let me see if we got a few questions here. I don't want to miss, uh, do you need to use the Uno cartridge? Yes, you do uh, at this point in time. Uh, let's see. Um, any possibility of the, having the clicker work with multiple units? Uh, yes, uh, there definitely is. <clears throat> and it's really a software change. So I think we could make it programmable. Originally, this is going to come out to, to connect to the first pet tutor it finds. So the way it'll work initially, and I'm talking well, just over the next couple of weeks, if you get one, uh, what will happen is uh, when you turn the uh, turn the new uh, smart clicker mini on, it'll come up and it'll look for the first pet tutor and it'll it'll pair with it automatically. Now, if you only have one, no problem. If you've got three and you only want to uh, trigger to the first one, then uh, uh, turn the other two off because uh, it'll pair with the first one and then it won't be able to talk to the others. But yeah, we do have the capability for multiple uh, feeders. And then we do have larger installations. So we're, we're in a lot of kennel operations and uh, people have gotten many, many pet tutors in their kennels, uh, tens and tens of, of uh, pet tutors throughout kennels and more. So uh, for that, we may have some new stuff coming that'll allow uh, a kennel to set up a large number of them. And we'll have some kennel packages coming too. So if somebody wants to install the mini on every kennel, uh, we'll, we'll offer a package and a, and a system, a wireless system to, uh, to control all those. Uh, we've got some really exciting stuff coming on the, on the wireless side too. We've got, uh, you know, one of, one of the guys that we have come to know and love is uh, one of our longtime customers is an expert in IoT. And uh, so he and I have been discussing what we can do in the world. It's uh, Internet of Things, the technology and what's available in the new wireless technology. So uh, we're, we're incubating right now on all the different ways we can go with this platform. So I think on the wireless side with multiple feeders, multiple people, uh, maybe I've said too much already, <laughs> but we got a, we got a lot, got a lot coming and we'll be revealing that in the uh, 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 in the future, uh, is it possible to train with multiple minis at once while triggering only? Uh, yeah, so one, one way around the multi feeder question is for now, what you can do because the new mini <clears throat> will talk immediately to our app. So, and, and if you go to the Pet Tutor Blue app, you can have, uh, it easily supports seven or eight feeders. Um, we've signed up on Bluetooth. And if you've got a good phone, I've, I've had up to like 12 or 13 feeders. It just depends on how good a phone you had. Got to have, because uh, it makes the phone's job very busy to keep all those active on Bluetooth. Uh, but seven or eight feeders, it should handle pretty well through the app. So uh, if you wanted to control multiple feeders, then just go back to the app. And it gives you better independent control as well. So if you wanted to trigger feeder number one and number three and number seven, you can do that through the app because each, each feeder's got a button. Uh, so that'll, that's there today. So uh, maybe that's a better answer to the multi-feeder question is just use the current app to independently control your feeders. Wes, there was a question that says, <clears throat> does the mini detach from crate mount with the option to attach to the tripod. Uh, yeah, Amanda, did you have other videos on the mounting stuff? Um, uh, the well, crate now, uh, you mean? No. Uh, okay. Uh, what we do have is, uh, let's see, <clears throat> trying to find the different parts and pieces I have. Well, you can screw the, uh, the disc, the, the uh, middle, middle part disc, what are we calling that? <laughs> yeah, the disc. <laughs> the disc. Manning, Manning disc. There's a yeah. screw hole in the bottom of it so that you can use it with any tripod or it, 
Yeah, there you go. Here's the disc, and then here are the le legs come off, and you don't have to use the legs. So then you could just have the disc, and that's how I attached it to my tripod and uh, any kind of tripod you might have. But I love the Joby. We're not selling the Joby, but I do love it. Yeah, yeah. There's there are several good tripods. Amanda got a, a real cheeky tripod just to test out, and I didn't think it was too bad. Uh, <clears throat> but you know, if you've got one, fine. Uh, again, we're not going to sell the tripods. There are lots of them out there, uh, but we do have the mount, so you can mount it on a tripod. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure if we answered that question about the, the mounts or not. But the, yeah, the mini comes off of the. <clears throat> It, I think that's what she was asking. Yeah. Uh, someone asked about uh, the battery. That's a good question. So uh, in the new uh, Smart Clicker Mini, uh, it has a built-in rechargeable battery. So those of you that have been using the, uh, the Smart Clicker, I know you were uh, frustrated about not having a longer battery life. Uh, also, lots of people said, I want an on-off switch. Okay. So you've got an on-off switch, so you can turn it off. Uh, tur turn it on when you're not using it to save the battery, uh, and then you plug it in to charge it. Uh, and we're still evaluating the, the lifetime. There's a lot of things we can do in programming to extend the battery life, uh, but this is not something that you're gonna go for days between a charge. It's probably under normal use, you're probably gonna have to like, use it for a day, and uh, or two and plug it in. Uh, again, I don't know yet. Uh, the usage is going to make a big difference in how we program it. Uh, you know, it'll it'll have a sleep mode, so it'll watch. And if you're not using it, it'll go to sleep. Uh, and we're going to make that programmable too, so you can you know turn off the sleep mode or extend the sleep mode time uh, on this. But uh, yeah, it, you're probably talking about on the order with this battery, the built-in internal rechargeable, a matter of a few hours to a day or two uh, between charges. Uh, USB-C, yes. Yeah, oh, Scott. Hey, Scott. <coughs> uh, yes, uh, Scott's there. Yeah, that's our buddy out in uh, Seattle that uh, is the, one of the world experts on IoT that's been uh, helping us out. Uh, so uh, you, you do have the USB-C port for charging, uh, but we're also evaluating. I don't know if it's going to work, but uh, we do, we, we have uh, located and we're gonna try out an external battery that is much larger, just plugs in. It's got like a little handheld wand. So you just plug this in and all of a sudden you've got 10 times the battery capacity. So we'll have to see how that goes, but, uh, I think we're probably going to be able to answer most of the needs around the uh, uh, around the battery. Uh, wireless charging, no, it is uh, 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 USB plug only. Uh, yeah, that would be nice, but uh, not at not at this time. Uh, somebody was asking about the size of the food. <clears throat> yeah, uh, I call it like a medium. Uh, Let's see if I've got something in here. Oh, yeah, this is, uh, oh gosh, I don't know if I can do this without making a mess. Can you see that? Uh, that's from, that's, a, 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 that's one that my dog gets a lot of from, and I've got two in a pocket. Uh, let's see. Uh, three. There's, three. There's, there's three, so I've got, and I would say that's probably about the limit is about three from kibble. Uh, if that helps you, uh, if you go to, you know, uh, a medium size kibble that's, uh, you know, like a, about the size of an M&M. &M. Uh, what, what is a little too big is uh, uh, Charlie Bears. So uh, unfortunately the Charlie Bear, at least at this stage in the design, is just a wee bit too big. Uh, we still might have some tweaking factors if people are really passionate about Charlie Bears, but I would say no right now. Charlie Bear's too big. Uh, if you cut down about three quarters of a Charlie Bear, that would probably work. So it's about three quarters of a Charlie Bear. 
and the uh, <coughs> the mini itself is the micro USB, and the uh, mini, yeah. the mini smart clicker is the C. Yeah. And this is a good question. Um, we haven't talked about this yet a lot in the last few meetings, but are the tab buttons going to get, be compatible with the new device? Uh, let me think about that. For okay. A I had that. Yeah, we hadn't thought about that. Because, so, because the tab oh, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we, 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 yeah we, we worked all this out ahead of time. Yeah, the tab button goes through the app. That's, yeah. So the tap button has to connect to the app. Right. And, and the app can connect to any Gen 2, Gen 3, uh, or Mini. So through one it? tap, so yes, is the answer through the app. But not uh, direct. Uh, the Smart Clicker Mini is direct. Uh, yes, yeah. Yeah, so tap, tap button through the app. And then from the app, it can relay to any of the generation feeder products, except including one. the new mini. Yeah. Except for, yes, thank you. Except for Gen 1. Gen 1 was a prior wireless technology. It's not Bluetooth. So uh, I do have a question out there for everyone. Is there anyone in this group that bought the original Pet Tutor 1? And could you uh, message me, please, if you have a Pet Tutor original one, perhaps probably 2014 would be the year, I believe. We shipped the summer of 2014. Yeah, let's see. Who might have had that? Uh... Okay, let's see. Oh, Annie Grossman, I bet you're right. Um, Annie. And, so Annie and Day, we're going to give each you, Annie, and Day, a $25 off gift card. Yep. So how do they get that gift card, Amanda? Email Amanda at smartanimaltraining.com. Yeah, that's Amanda at smartanimaltraining.com. And uh, she will get you an electronic uh, gift card for $25 off the store. Yeah, and thank you guys for being uh, such great uh uh, pet tutor community folks, uh, you know, you're really kind of like family. We've been been around for a few years now and we've gotten to know a lot of people and it's just really great. Your support through all of this has been wonderful. Uh, we appreciate you guys tremendously. And, you know, back in 2014, who knew, you know, we were, uh, we just started as a company, uh, you know, you had no idea where we were going, uh, but uh, we're still here. Uh, yay for the tap. Yeah, thank you for the feedback on the tap. A lot of people like that. Uh, oh, somebody, uh, how do you, go ahead. How do you know which generation it is? What's an easy way to do that? Uh, the uh, other, other than Gen 1, uh, so you, uh, because it does not connect, uh, Gen, Gen 1 does not connect to the app. Uh, and so it would have a serial, Gen 1 would have a serial number less than 2000. So somewhere under that. So if you turn the feeder over and look at the bottom of it, it also, the only way you can talk to uh, the Gen 1 is through the three button. It's a big, uh, big remote. I was just looking around. Oh, yeah, here it is. So it, this is the original Gen 1 remote. So if you had this kind of a big, big remote with these three buttons, that's Gen 1. And that's the only way you can trigger the feeder is from this remote. It doesn't talk to the phone. That would tell you you've got a Gen 1. Then for Gen 2 or Gen 3, when you connect to the app, underneath the icon, it'll have a label, Gen 2 or Gen 3. So that's the quickest way to tell which generation is. Just connect it to your app and look at what the label is under the icon when you connect to it. Um, so about the discount, somebody said something about the discount. It is now, as of an hour ago, live in our shopping cart. It should be the first one under Shop All. And it is all inclusive. It includes the two bonuses, the um, Smart Clicker Mini and a crate mount. Those two things are bonuses to the price. And so that is uh, good through Monday. So uh, it's, you don't need a code. It's just going to go away from the shopping cart in a few days. So 
Yeah, and that's just to get uh, the uh, the additional uh, Smart Clicker Mini uh, for free. So right. that by yeah. by getting in early, you get this at no additional charge over the package. So in the crate now. Free. In the crate now. Uh, in the crate now. Thank yeah. You. Yeah. In the crate now. Uh, and somebody was asking also if, uh, as we're adding things, function, um, what is that if they buy now, you know? So it, yeah. the deal doesn't get any better than this. And the Smart Clicker Mini may have more function in it than the we were talking about today, but it's, that's not going to be any different. That's, you're just getting that free. And we yeah. may add new products, and there may, may be things that it may have more function, but that will, um, that'll just be a bonus to you as well. Now, yeah. if, if it's a separate product, a brand new product yeah. of, you know, I'm not even going to mention what they might be, but they may, they, you know, there might be another product. Yeah. So. Yeah, but like like I said earlier, we have a lot more capability with this new little guy, and so we're going to take advantage of that uh, uh, probably very early in January, and we'll start revealing that what those new capabilities are, and that the price won't change as we're engineering and writing programs and adding things. That'll be uh, no no charge, no additional charge to get those. Uh, but like Amanda said, you know, if there's a whole separate product. Uh, that's different, but enhancements are, are uh, just a gift to you for uh, for being a great great supporter. They said somebody was having a little trouble. <clears throat> they tried to buy one, um, and um, they had just, they, they yeah they got refu got refused. So, uh, so we may have a glitch. We'll have to you know have to go in and drink. But you know if we have to add more time, we will. Yeah, yeah, we'll have to check that out. Uh, yeah, we just got it posted up, and uh, we posted it like most of our our other products. So, uh, you know, it could be. Uh, let's see, check out. I'm just gonna start through an order right now as we're talking and try to answer a few things here. <coughs> well, uh, yeah, it looks I got. Like, go ahead. It, it, it looks okay to me. I mean, I haven't followed it all the way through, but it's it's loading it in the cart and it's taking me to the checkout. Okay. Yeah, so, I said it was marked as suspicious. So she said, I'm inside the USA. So I don't know. Oh, okay. It does, uh, does this unit have an internal battery or does the battery need to be purchased separately? Uh, internal battery, yes, it's rechargeable. No, so not. The, I think they're talking about the. Um, oh, oh, the, the, the mini. The mini. No, it does not have an internal battery. That you can add an external battery pack. Or plug that, it in. Or, or plug it into the wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that's the options on the on the mini uh, motor pod. And uh, somebody but, says they're confused a little bit. Uh, um, it's totally confusing to me. What, what is confusing? I, I don't know. Uh, Lynn, are you there? Let's see. Uh, uh, okay, look look that up. I'm not sure how okay. to answer I'll that. Uh, aside from the amazing portability and the cool new uh, remote, what is the benefit to the new version versus waiting? Oh, okay. I think we've answered that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, basic. And how much is an extra uni uno? An extra uno. Like above uh, and beyond, like if you were a collector of unos. Yeah, that would be, we'd like to support that. Uh, so uh, unos are cartridges. So yeah. that, that when we say the uno, it's, we're talking about the cartridge that the food comes in. And I've got an idea what that, but we're not ready to announce that yet. Uh, uh, so uh, as we start to break that apart, uh, it'll uh, uh, we'll, we'll put those in the store so you can you can you can collect the unos. Yeah, so you can have lots of packs. You know, each dog that you have, if you have a whole group of dogs, you can put, put together an uno for each dog, or you have different kinds of food. Uh, 
Uh, you can do that. Uh, now we're using color a lot. You'll see a lot of color in this. Uh, we do make this, one of the decisions we made after this uh, uh, rude um, problem that we ran into with logistics at the beginning of the year is, uh, you know, I want to be as independent as we can from overseas supply chains. It's uh, almost impossible these days, but uh, we're trying to make everything we can right here in the United States. Uh, and that is uh, uh, Indianapolis, Indiana is where most of this is made. So I uh, you know the parts and pieces come here and our team assembles it, tests it, and then fulfills orders and it ships out of here. Uh, in order to make that happen and happen quickly, we are 3D printing at most everything that you see. Now, that's not new. Uh, we have been 3D printing for, gosh, I don't know, maybe a, a, a year and a half or two years, Samanda. Uh, a couple of so, years. <clears throat> yeah, probably a couple of years if you've been buying uh, the new standard duty crate mount uh, or the new travel package. Those are all 3D printed right here in Indianapolis. Injection molded products are really hard to get in the U.S., and a lot of them are made overseas. And that's one of the problems is uh, overseas transport is becoming costly and unpredictable. Uh, so, but with the advantage where I was going is since it's 3D, we have a lot of flexibility of, of color changing. I'm not promising anything, but you know, uh, one of the areas that I thought about is with the Uno is maybe making the, the, the colors different. So if you had different foods, you can kind of color code the, uh, the canister by the food. So just some things we're playing around with. We could get crazy. We have tons of different colors we could make products in. So color variation is another thing that's uh, that's coming. So uh, just to be just to be clear, you saw a package that was orange, which was our prototype version, but it will be coming in a gray and blue uh, combination. Um, yeah, a little bit like that one over your shoulder there, Amanda, on your wall. Mm -hmm. This one, yeah. Hard yeah. to see, probably. Let's see if I can come a little closer. Mm -hmm. Can you see me? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. And so I, uh, I do have a question for everyone that's on here. Um, if you had a choice of getting different colors of your unit, would that be important to you? Or would you just be fine with the generic, as far as we do all of them the same? Do you wanna make it more personal? Like do you hot pink or purple or, um, I'm just making up colors, but colors not important, not important, not important. Yes, definitely love color, dog friendly color. <laughs> yeah, we can still stick with the yellow and blue. That's sort of how we've been, um, yeah. Doing. Okay. Uh, let's see. Had a question. Uh, we shipped to Australia. We're trying to avoid uh, international shipping and go through uh, distributors. Um, Australia uh, and uh, Lisa Hilliard has been handling the pet tutor for Australia. I haven't spoken to her about this. If she wants to try to carry it as well, uh, but if she does, we we'd want to have a distributor there. And that it, it just you get turnaround quicker and and you get support and that's important to us that if someone has a problem they can get a quick response and it's a whole lot easier to do that in country so uh, for Australia we probably won't uh, direct ship we'll probably try to sell to somebody uh, and uh, Lisa might be uh, if she's wanting to carry it I might be willing to do that. I did like somebody's point that said that she would like different colors because her dogs each have different dietary concerns. And that would be a great way to differentiate. I like that idea. Okay, okay, we may, yeah, I've been thinking about that. Thanks for that uh, feedback. Uh, is there a delay? Now, it sounds like a, a Ruth uh, Raymond says, is there a delay between the click <laughs> and the feed? <laughs> oh, I know about that. You you better believe we want that as small as possible. I've been shooting for a sub one second. So, uh, you know, from the click to the feed, uh, it's probably on the order of about a second. I'll say maybe eight tenths of a second. So what happens is you you click. Oh, there goes my treats. And, and, the, uh, and this little rotor moves. 
So I spilled kibble all over my desk. <laughs> uh, and so that, uh, that delay is pretty small and we'll always be working on making it even smaller, but I'd say in the order of a second. Somebody's uh, asking if the click click works. If the what? I'm, I'm Abby, I think Abby, hey Abby, are you asking if, um, is there a marker tone? Um, Amanda, do you have a travel bowl there that you can show? Is uh, somebody, I think, can you dispense into a disc like the current travel bowl? So, yeah, so. I, I like this feature a lot. See, can you see me? Yep. Okay, I can't tell, all right. So uh, it can go flat and my dog likes to eat out of it like this. And, or you can open it at different heights depending on the animal. Uh, my, my Dane, if it's open all the way is a little bit of a clutch with it. So I, it's easier for him if it's flat. So it, it travels. This is a bowl that all of you probably have in your house. Uh, one of these collapsible bowls. It's, it's fairly, fairly common. And that's why we're offering, um, it's something everybody can relate to and finds very convenient. And it travels easily. Yeah, now we picked out one that's got a little, uh, can you hold up the little hole there on the travel bowl? This uh -huh. is made, <clears throat> we, we're offering this bowl because it mounts with the, uh, uh, with the pet tutor, <clears throat> or yeah, with the pet tutor mini. That little hole there is designed so you can clip it in and like Amanda's got on her, on her, in the, on the wall in the background, the bowl hangs. <clears throat> yeah, so you put the, yeah. put the bowl yeah. on the little, uh, there's a little uh, post. There you go. So there that, you go. Oh, <clears throat> yeah, you raise it up a little bit. There. And uh, so uh, you can dispense it at a disc, which would be nice for, again, for bird trainers. Uh, we're working, you know, we've had, I, don't, I almost hate to say it, but uh, we haven't tested it yet, but we're also working on a different adapter for the client tables. We have one for the original Gen 3 and Gen 2. Uh, Gen 1 uh, pet tutors to mount on climb tables. We're also looking at an adapter for that as well. It's not ready yet, but uh, it should be coming out sometime early after the first of the year. Uh, it's not available yet, but we know there are a lot of our customers that also have climb tables. Uh, Patty Burke is asking if wireless capability is being considered, will that be on a new product or an enhancement to the mini? That's my only reservation about going with the mini holding out for wireless for my second pet tutor? Uh, yeah, so um, I think you're maybe saying uh, Wi-Fi, is that uh, the wireless? Because we've got wireless Bluetooth. Uh, so if uh, we do not have uh, Wi-Fi on this many at this time. Uh, and that's all I can say, but we are working diligently uh, and uh, to be able to offer that, but uh, we don't have anything for that right now. Uh, I, I tried to use some credit card before to claim my card. We talked about that one. Oh yeah, okay. That was an overseas. Oh yeah, the system. Yeah, our shopping cart will not allow you to purchase uh, from outside uh, uh, U.S. or Canada. You have to. Oh, I thought it. she said she was inside U.S. Okay, <clears throat> I don't know. I'm from outside oh. of the U.S. Okay, I misread that. That's why. That's why that didn't go through. Uh, yeah, sorry uh, for folks that are overseas. You can't uh, direct purchase through our shopping cart. Uh, yeah, Lisa would be your, Alexis, uh, Lisa would be your contact there. Uh, she wasn't sure if uh, she would be on tonight. I don't know if Lisa, uh, Lisa Hilliard made it on tonight uh, from Polite Paws uh, down in Australia. Uh, I saw her Facebook post. It looked like she was getting all dolled up to go out for a New Year's Eve party. So I don't know if she's back yet. <clears throat> but uh, 
uh, she would have to decide. She's not really seeing this flesh out, and we're going to have to talk about it. She wants to carry that. She's done a great job on support. And like I was saying earlier, we really want to sell through people locally uh, to be able to provide support. Uh, yeah, Lynn, you said uh, confusing. Uh, can you say more about that uh, if you're still on? Uh, what is the range on the remote? Yeah, I think I addressed that. It's about uh, 200 to 240 feet. Uh, line of sight. So, you know, if you start going through walls, it's going to cut down the range. Uh, it, we're also actually looking at some technology that would allow us to go much, much further, but that's not in this product. And I don't know if it'll make it into a product, but uh, we do have a few tricks up our sleeves to get incredibly long range if, if we can make that happen. Enough people want it. Uh, my question is really if. A new product. Uh, yeah, we're going to try to make a wireless available if it's Wi Fi, that Wi Fi available on uh, certainly on for Gen 3s and, and the new Mini. Uh, I'm so what, excited. What did you just say? Are you drunk? Uh, just kidding. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we don't, we don't have Wi Fi. <laughs> yes. Come back in 30 days. And we'll Come see. back in 30 days. Uh, I'm so excited. To, oh, a rat trainer. Hey, that's cool. I'd, uh, I'd love to, uh, you know, as a matter of fact, if you've got, so let me, uh, I don't think I said this earlier, I meant to. Um, we want, we really would like to showcase some uh uh, unique applications early. So if you're training you know, like a unique species like rats or an exotic bird, uh, put that in the notes on your order and we'll see if we can uh, get you out of beta unit for the test. And then when the final version is ready, we'll swap out your beta unit for the final one if you want to do that. If you want to test out early and get started early. Uh, so exotic animals. The other one that would be really interesting is if you have a uh, accessibility application. So if you uh, work with someone that's in a wheelchair, has severe disabilities, up to and including quadri quadriplegics. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the uh, uh, meeting tonight, uh, we have a, several people that are quadriplegic that use the, the uh, Gen 3 uh, pet tutor. And I think this will be even better and we'd like to get it out in their hands, uh, be able to use it soon so I put that in the notes if you've got a unique application in service dog work uh, or in uh, in exotic animals uh, does the unit have an internal battery yes uh, the battery needs to be for, oh no you don't purchase the battery separately uh, oh uh, let's see so are you talking about the mini or the clicker yeah yeah so uh, yeah the smart clicker has a built-in rechargeable the mini does not have a battery you can only use the external uh, and external battery. Sorry, uh, submitted the uh, Let's see. Okay, someone said they just uh, uh, placed an order using PayPal and it went through without a problem. Thanks, Christine. Yep, so we're good on that. And somebody uh, else said they got it and it said the an email and said the total was zero dollars charged so <laughs> uh we better i went through mm -hmm. most of the process i didn't buy one actually but um it, okay we'll have to yeah. check that uh what comes in the mini pet tutor package amanda would you like to review that again oh, on what see. we're and that's this package tonight until monday so it's what you're what she's going to show you is just for a short time uh and okay. then trying to get to the share of the screen hold on yeah a picture would help yeah that's what i'm going to show is my screen sharing uh -oh. yes okay yep Yep. Okay, so this is what's included in the uh, pre-sale package that will deliver uh, late March, early April, and uh, you will receive the mini with the removable legs, 
the Uno, an extra Uno, the new remote, not the one that's showing here. This is just a prototype and a crate mount, which is extra as well. And the micro USB plug that will plug the mini into the wall. And, and, then, that, and the two bonus items, again, the crate mount and the remote. And I know for sure uh, on Monday afternoon, sometime the remote will go, uh, free remote will go away. It will go in the shopping cart and you could buy it separately. It's $99. Yeah, uh, another good question. Just thanks, Amanda. Sure. Uh, yeah, so if you can switch back, yeah. So uh, someone asked, is the Uno uh, canister a uh, screw lid? Yep, you must work around dogs. <laughs> yeah, we've been testing this with dogs and uh, I volunteer in a service dog program here in Indianapolis called ICANN. It's a prison-based service dog program. Uh, I don't know if Nick and Julie, if you're still there. Shout oh, out Nick's been guys. helping. He's been- Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, he was on our team for a while before he went back to, to finish his uh, master's degree but uh yes so uh the the dogs uh because uh, i had some service dog puppies in training they were very inquisitive and kept getting a lid off so we went to a screw on lid so it's pretty uh pretty secure uh and it, uh we're still kind of tweaking the design a little bit to make it a little easier uh by the time we start shipping i think we'll have the product in, in pretty good shape but uh, yeah, this lid, this lid is is screw on for the uh, uh, for the Uno. Uh, okay. <clears throat> uh, what is the mini package price before Monday? Well, it is uh, what Amanda just shared, which is a savings of. Uh, you figured that out, Amanda? Oh, well, I think it's a hundred and. $23.95 or something like that, savings. Yeah, so at some point then uh, it will, those uh, extra bonuses will go away. Uh, for, the package for will be the same, uh, the cost, $149, but you won't get the, the clicker and the crate mount included. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so if you just take those items, it's still $149, but those two items go away. Uh, Oh uh, yeah, the uh, the uh, just ordered. The rats will be excited <laughs> when I tell them. <laughs> well, okay, he's in here. So yeah, that's funny. Uh, yeah, anyone that does any rabbit training too, I see uh, Dave. I think Dave was in here. Yeah. Uh, to add to the package to be able to use external battery, uh, you don't need to add anything to use an external battery uh, because uh, you can plug with just the cable. So you, you use, you know, just your regular. So this is a USB-C cable. So I could plug that into my, uh, my uh, smart clicker mini and then attach the other end of that to an external battery if I wanted to uh, charge it or increase the battery life of this or the same thing with this. Now it, this takes a, uh, USB micro. So you just you plug this in, and I uh, Amanda showed you earlier. Uh, we've got a place under to strap the battery underneath, so you can put uh, different types of rechargeable batteries. So you can get those uh, real small, and I like the small anchor. It's about a five thousand uh, milliamp hour. Uh, you can go up to ten thousand. Amanda found a square ten thousand uh, milliamp hour. You could strap underneath for a longer time. So we are looking at some different accessory bags that will, uh, we're trying them out, um, the different things to put in there. Uh, so the, I, I do believe a carrying bag will be coming. Yeah. Um, but, and there may be enough that will probably always be sold um, separately unless you buy like the whole enchilada, everything involved, so. Uh, cool. Uh, someone said, yeah, parrots. Great. Yeah. Well, I really am anxious to try this. I was really thinking about, um, 
our bird training folks uh, as we were thinking about the UNO and trying to get that precision. Uh, and small more. dogs. We have and always, small do always had a really hard time with really the, the, the Yorkies yeah. and the Chihuahuas and mixes that are small like that. Yeah, it, it's yeah. It's perfect for them. It, yeah, with all the prior pet tutors, they were jam resistant and, and they would hold more food, but it was hard to get just a, a very tiny treat and a very small amount out until now. So uh, hopefully this will solve that. Uh, rabbits, yep. Uh, yeah, we'd love to see some rabbit videos. Uh, can the app be programmed to have the treat dispenser uh, deploy at specific times of day? Uh, a medication six hours after I leave. Uh, yeah, I think we. Uh, it's not available right now. Maybe that's a safer way to say that. <laughs> that is safer. Uh, yeah, there's so much I want to say, but uh, yeah, I would say not. Uh, it's not there now. It's honestly a matter of, of software, and uh, so there's not much standing in our way to actually implement that, but. Uh, to trigger it like 8.30 in the morning or 2.15 2 in the afternoon. Not yet, not yet. Uh, again, you'll, we'll probably be rolling out a lot of those kinds of enhancements and new features in January. So you'll see more of that. Uh, yes, each UNO has its own lid. Yep. Uh, Oh, somebody's got a three and a half pound chihuahua. Yes, yep. Yeah, Christine, yep. I'd love to see uh, love to see what you think about that. Uh, there is going to be a recording if you're, uh, you know, if you came in halfway or you came in late and you want to see the rest of it, uh, you should be able to watch, uh, watch this again. We'll be putting it on social media for those who missed it, so. Yeah, and I think we're, uh, uh, why don't we uh, open up uh, the uh, Really, audio, okay. Uh, just for a little bit, and then I think uh, give it about three minutes here and then we'll shut down. I think we got most of the questions. Uh, is the mini compatible with the attachment for the client? The short answer is not yet. Uh, it will be, uh, we do have a prototype alternative mounts. We had to modify the mount for the client a little bit, <clears throat> but we haven't tried it out yet. Uh, but it would, uh, just to give you an idea, it would work on the same, you know, uh, Amanda was talking about that hole in the bottom for the tripod. So if you just imagine that mounting in that little cup that we have for the climb adapter, that would turn this into a, uh, an attachment for the client. So um, I think that uh, we, we're, we've almost got it. We haven't had time to test it out, but we've designed it and it looks like it's going to be pretty close, but we've got to still have to test it yet. Uh, but it will be a different adapter. So you can't use the original uh, climb adapter. Uh, but uh, I think it'll work better with the climb because of that collapsible bowl now. I think uh, it'll it'll fit on the climb and work a little bit older, uh, a little bit better. Uh, extra. Uh, uh, I would say uh, being able to order more Unos. Uh, we we did, we'll, we'll get that in the shopping cart in a few days, right? Uh, yeah. So uh, if they we, wanted to add it to their order, um, some, you know, we'll just. Uh, well, we're not, we're not shipping right away. So. I know, but. but okay, we, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> you caught us here. We're, we're, we're making this up on the fly. Uh, <laughs> Marketing and, says sure. Yes, they will. Well, yeah, yes. Uh, marketing says sure. Engineering and manufacturer says, well, we got to make those. So uh, depending on how many, it might take us a little while to build up inventory. Uh, and we have we have different locations that do our our uh, plastic uh, manufacturing now all around uh, uh, the Midwest. And hey. so uh, we we will uh, we'll get it in the cart in in uh let's say within a week uh, or a few days amanda and uh we'll have a price on it and then uh it will deliver if you wanted to order extra units you do get two yeah i see where they're going so if they wanted to order one can we order uh others uh and if you've ordered some now uh and you see that the unos are available uh 
we can we can set that up so you can add to your order before we ship. So. Uh, okay. Um, somebody wants to know that if they buy the mini now and Wi-Fi becomes available, will that be part of it, or can they add it, or? Uh, yeah. Is it going to be a different product? Uh, just want to understand. Yeah. Fair yeah. question. Uh, oh, it, it is. Uh, and we've been um, doing a lot uh, trying to uh, decide the best way to go with the Wi-Fi. And uh, we'll, we generally try to take care of folks. So, I mean, even now we're going, you know, we're reaching back a generation to be able to make this guy talk to the Gen 3s. So we're, we, we've always tried to do that. It's not 100%, but uh, we, we try to make it compatible. So, uh, and we know that Wi-Fi is something that people like. So we'll, we'll try to find a, uh, an acceptable way uh, to be able to get, uh, make Wi-Fi available if you buy now, if you add it later on. I don't know if I answered that. <laughs> well, it, it, I knew what you meant, but it might be confusing to somebody yeah. else. Yeah. So, uh, no, you don't have to buy a whole new product. We're going to try to deal with that so that uh, you wouldn't have to buy an entire new product. Can, uh, do you have one that's active, or can I show that video again that it's in the tree so they can hear it move? If somebody wants uh, to hear it. Yeah, I don't, uh, I, I don't have one here, and we're going to have to uh, log off here for, in okay. just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, you get uh, yeah two two, two two cartridges. Yeah, go ahead. I was answering your question. Okay. Two cartridges. Yes, for that. Let's get it right there. Okay, this one. You should be able to hear it if you turn your volume up. It's just barely audible, but you. That click was the original that you heard was the original um, prototype of the remote. So the noise you heard, the click, that was me pushing the remote. But really, it makes very little, very little noise. Yeah. And you could use the app. So again, you can connect our app to that. And if you want the sound of a clicker, the app plays a mechanical click clicker sound. So you can hear that. Uh, this feeder does not have a micro or it does not have a speaker in it. Uh, so if you want something that has a marker signal on it, you, the app would be the way to do that. If you want that click sound, there are some other things we're looking at. Uh, but if you want the marker signal, the app is the way to get that for now. Now I found that uh, actually the plink, the, the food comes out fairly quick and I have a, uh, a little, a little metal uh, crate bowl, and the plate of the food uh, is serves as a pretty good marker for my dog. Uh, would love to see an Uno size with jackpot slots, some small lots and larger. Okay, all right, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> Yeah, so Scott was saying, can you clarify what Wi-Fi means? Yeah, I guess that's true. So I think most people, when they say Wi-Fi, they mean access to the cloud or the internet. They they want to be able, they want to be able to have the feeder at home, and and drive over to Starbucks and and, and deliver a treat. It's my canned uh, scenario, or drive you know ten miles away from the house and still deliver a treat, and. Uh, that is a common request, and that's you really have to get on Bluetooth. That's outside the range of Bluetooth. So you can't do that with Bluetooth. So you have to have uh, uh, Wi-Fi to the internet to be able to do that. Uh, but we've actually been looking at that for some time now, and we want to do it uh, probably a little different than you might have seen other people do it. And uh, so we we think it'll be. Uh, uh, Pretty, pretty handy when it comes out. Um, uh, let's see. Cartridge to make sturdy. Yeah. Uh, 
for nosy dogs. Yeah, we are we are working on different ways so that the this cartridge will. Uh, we're looking at a locking system now. We just introduced a, a locking system to hold that on, and this screws on so everything is tightly held together for inquisitive noses. Um, uh, what is Bluetooth range? I mentioned that earlier, but you got to come in. It's uh, about 200, 240 feet line of sight. Uh, so I'd say it's in the ballpark of the previous, not the Gen 2. Now, the Gen 2 was an older version of Bluetooth technology, and it had a pretty short range. It was about 50 feet or so. Uh, this one will be around 200 feet line of sight. So you need to be home for the many to dispense treats to the dog. Yes. Yeah, you could not leave the house uh, uh, with its current capabilities uh, and, and dispense your away. So don't, if you're wanting that, don't buy now, uh, you know, and expect it to have that. Uh, but uh, having said that, if you buy now and you want that, uh, we understand that people will uh, will want that capability, and uh, uh, so stay tuned. Very, very soon, I think we'll have something to show you. Uh, thanks. Uh, looks fabulous. Uh, get in touch with Lisa. Okay. Uh, so I think uh, will you integrate that? Uh, uh, we're we're working on that. So uh, Lynn. Uh, the the Wi-Fi capability is something we know people would like to have. Uh, so with that, um, I think we're going to wrap it up. Uh, Got to run. Yep, we do too. Uh, looking forward to the product. So Amanda, is there anything you want to say in closing? Uh, yes. If you have more specific questions, you can email us at info at smartanimaltraining.com eh, smart or amanda at smartanimaltraining.com and we would uh, we'll try to answer your questions. Uh, as you can see, we're in, we're in a very good place, but we are continuing to develop and we want to give you the most for your money. So um, thank you for listening to us and trusting us and we're excited. I was so happy to see so many uh, old friends and new friends and it was just nice knowing you were out there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, thank you all for taking time tonight to come and hear about what we have. And uh, we hope you'll be uh, uh, excited to see what we've got coming next year too. All right, uh, with that, um, I think we will sign off for the evening. Wish you all a very happy new year. And a safe one. And a safe one. <laughs> yes. Be safe. Thank okay. you. Bye. <laughs> Cheers.